Or, yeah, we went to Hollywood. We met Rob Deerdick. Yep. Are you <laughs> serious? We yeah, went to we the fantasy factory and banged on the door until he came outside. Yeah. He yeah. Yeah, yeah. We so were so we, nervous, none of us said a word to it. We just stood there and looked at it. You went there and knocked on the door. Yeah. yeah. No, we like ring the bell, actually. It was like a intercom. And we were like, we were trying to act like we were, yeah. what was it? It was like FedEx state. or something. Use EMG pickups because they help you get the heaviest tone possible. Head over to emgpickups.com and use my promo code HEAVY at checkout and get 15% off. And then once you write the heaviest song of all time, head over to distrokid.com slash VIP slash Garza and save 30% off your membership to get all your songs on all streaming platforms. And now to the heaviest podcast of all time. That's like a legendary artist I never got into, really? Never got into Journey. I saw him in high school and I was like just blown away. You blown away with oh, Sick? Yeah. Journey? Yeah. You what? I didn't know you saw Journey. Yeah, I saw Journey. But it was like, you know, new singer, whatever. New. Yeah. He's been in the band forever now. What year was that? That would have been like, when I was in, shit, that would have been like 2008. Okay. Yeah, something like that. But uh, but still sick. Oh, it was amazing. Their Arena guitar, probably. Yeah, yeah. Their guitar player shreds. One of the craziest things is that they all they all sing. Their drummer sings like mm. he has a lapel and like he'll sing a whole song and just like shred. I don't know. Is how that, is that the Britney well. Spears mic? Yes. With the preacher lapel? Yeah. No, it's like the full on like. God, Britney we got to get Jake on that. We, <laughs> yeah. have, we have to. There he is, right there. Oh, oh shit! Oh, Steve Fuck. Perry. No, nah, yeah, he was eighty-one. He was a G. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is insane. So, so, yeah. so you saw a journey. I'm like, I want to be in a heavy band. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, mean, I think that's right. That's exactly At the where time, I was already playing metal. I was already there. But yeah. my buddy was like, hey, I got a ticket. You want to go? And I was like, fuck yeah. Was you one do of my... love to noodle, though, because of journey. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, one of the first solos I ever learned was a journey solo. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got it. There's hey, man, Who's Crying Now. It's got like a sick ass song. Sick ass yeah. song. Yeah. That's a great song. So, so can, can you do that? that oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No, it's <laughs> sick, but it gets it gets really fast. He'd be sitting high. He'd be standing. Wow. On the Gibson Les Paul, baby. Yeah, with, yeah. The, up with, that. with the whammy, too. Oh, that shirt, <laughs> that shirt though, man. Dude, my dad used yeah, to play Journey that. songs all the time when I was a kid on his Les Paul Custom. The Liz, oh, they Liz all Paul shred. Custom. They for sure shred. I was like, <laughs> there was like a whole guitar solo section that was like longer than us. It was like five minutes long, and I was just like, I can't believe this guy's like eighty years old shredding like this. He's probably not eighty, but close. The drummer's just hidden behind those like huge ass rack toms. Oh my goodness! Look at okay, Let's see him now. Let's see him now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah now. still. Where where are where are they now? We're small band, <laughs> very small band, still in a massive arena. Yeah, they're they're not killing it at all. Not at all. Don't stop believing. <laughs> don't, don't stop, stop, dude. Don't stop playing this fucking Can't song. Can't stop. Sounds cheesy, but I mean, there's a lot, yeah, a lot of truth a lot there, of man. Truth in that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't stop believing. You can't, dude. I you want got time, dude. I want to quit my band fucking ten times <laughs> oh, last yeah. week. I mean, it's just, I I you, gotta, you, you can't stop believing. But you can't. <laughs> they made this. I tried. I, I can't. I can't. Every single day, I want to quit. That's it. <laughs> this oh is crazy goodness. too, because I I think like this singer. I don't know if it's true, but I'm pretty sure it, they they were like looking for a singer, and he had covered them on YouTube like mm -hmm. way way wow. back. Right? This guy, yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, and he's he from, sounded like, a third world just, country. Yeah, he's from somewhere Southeast Asia, I think. But he, yeah, he was just so good. He sounded so much like him. They were like, "You're in the band. You're in the band." That's crazy. <laughs> what a life! Imagine it's being a rock star moment. Yeah. Like, you're from a different country now. You, you're in Journey, <laughs> and, and you're in a fucking arena, and you didn't stop believing. No, <laughs> you, you know never stopped believing. He got there. You really just never believing. Believing. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Well, holy moly, I'm honored to have some Southern boys here. Gideon, yeah, the whole right. band. Yeah. Thank you guys for making the drive here, dude. Yeah, honored. No problem. Thanks, Thanks for having us. I'm honored yeah. to have yeah. you guys. Heavy as shit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You know. Coming you know, from you. Huh? You know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, no, trust me. I realized last night. Last night I saw, um, excuse me if I'm tired, but I saw Suffocation last night. 
and oh, yeah. I, I was you humbled. I was, oh yeah, I got the hoodie. This is a, a bootleg. It fits like oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I put it on last night, and I'm pretty sure there was a cum scene on it, like right here. <laughs> I was like, what is that? But I was too tired to like care. <laughs> <laughs> True story. And I woke up today, I put it back on. I'm like, I don't care. And I, just <laughs> put it, I, I wiped it off. Yeah, I just get a wet It was like bag. a white fucking, I'm like, oh, it's yeah. fucking, I bought bootleg fucking. <laughs> bootleg cum. Bootleg cum. They had, them in, the, they had them in the parking lot? <laughs> yeah. Hell That's yeah, funny. dude. Like you want, want, want this hoodie? I'm like, okay. Yeah, I, I, I want one. You know, I I, <laughs> I, 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 I have two shots of Jack. I never drink Jack ever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fuck it. Yeah, sounds like it's a great idea. <laughs> Jack. Hey, sometimes some the bootlegs though be better than the originals. Sometimes. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sometimes, but yeah. Last night I was definitely humbled. Like you just watch him. Suffocation is still that band. Yeah. And it was like heavy as fuck. I mean, I mean, talking Hobbs, Terrence, like OG from like you know 1990. Mm. Like all, I mean, us, all these bands are with, with the, especially with the, like the slam. It's mm. all, mm-hmm. dude, it's all Suffo, you know, early 90s. Yeah. And still, he's, I want to say he's mid 50s. Hey, uh, Jay, can you look up how old Terrence is on, on the old wiki? I want to say he's, uh, he's 55 and they're still headbanging. Mm. Derek Ward, the bass player. <laughs> going off. We're, We're still playing catch up. 47. I don't, band. I don't think he appreciates me seeing his age on. on, <laughs> on, on, on <laughs> we'll bleep we'll it, we'll it, we'll it out. Yeah. Terrence Hobbs, dude. 95. 52? Born in 1970. So, what is so it, it says Holy age shit, 52. 52. 52. Not, not bad. Man, I want to be Coming rocking up on 52. 52. Yeah, I, yeah, dad's like 56. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. Damn. And dude, still <laughs> still rocking. Like headbanging. I was wow. like, I'm 37. I'm, I'm struggling. But dude, that was, it was really cool to see. Heavy as fuck. Yeah. Look great. All right, you know, I'm buying a bootleg. Come on. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Got to. Not buying their merch, just the bootleg. Yeah. Just the bootleg. <laughs> yeah. No, for real though, I think that sometimes the outside that hard. people on that. that oh my god, <laughs> that is so. Hard. That's fucking sick. Hey, uh, can we do a quick intro? Yeah, yeah, yeah hell yeah. Cool. Just so like, everyone knows what the hell is going on. Yeah. Who's who? Who's first? Oh. Name. So you go ahead. My first. Yeah. yeah. I'm Jacob Smelly. Jacob honored. And you? you play drums. I play drums. <laughs> also the OG. OG. I'm an OG. Some some would would call me an OG. <laughs> yep. Sick. Since I was 17. Yeah. Wow. High school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Straight I'm uh, Daniel McCorder. I sing. I'm close to an OG. I think. He's OG. Pretty yeah. close. He's OG. I'm Tyler Riley. I play guitar. Yeah. Fucking. I've rocker. been in the band for. Also OG. Almost OG. We're all OGs. Damn it. <laughs> in a way, we all are. But. I'm Caleb DeRussia, and I uh, play bass and. Um, he's OG. I'm OG. <laughs> My name's Chris, I'm, and I'm, I'm OG. Yes, yeah, <laughs> sir. This is the OG. <laughs> yes. Let's just fucking run the podcast right now. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Come we're, on. All, we're all OGs. <laughs> We've been Dude, around. Uh, Got to say thank you for uh, providing the new record. Uh, by the time people watch this, hear this, it will be out, out uh, March 17th. Yes. Yep. yes. Shit's heavy. It's sick. Thank, thank you. Thank I, was jam- you. I was jamming it. I jammed the whole thing on the way here because I, I already heard their first three singles that you guys put out oh, dude, they're fucking going heavy oh, Sound, yeah. it sounds awesome congrats thank, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you thank you how are you guys feeling about it I mean best record yet that's yeah. how it feels no, we've been <laughs> sitting on it for so long it feels so good to put some songs out yeah We're ready to yeah. get it the the hell out you know yeah. ready to just get yeah. it out there the response on the singles has just been incredible yeah, yeah. just ready to get it all out there I think I, I think people are ready dude a lot of uh, a lot of slam mm. This is this is a very slammy pod already. I, I feel it. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's gonna be good when it translates live. Um, mm. When a lot of people haven't heard it yet, and mm. those have, I don't know just to hear people singing along with those songs right out the gate every night has been. Are you serious? It's been sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck. That's you. Yeah, we we did the sing starting last year where we started playing songs before they came out. You know, we haven't really done that a lot. I don't know. Have we ever done that before? Back in the day. Mm. Like, it's been yeah. a long time. But, yeah, we started playing these songs before they came out and just kind of gauging it. And even, and especially in Europe where it's like we were just, we were touring there with uh, with the Amity Affliction. And there were a lot oh, wow. of, there were a lot of people there that had never heard <clears> us. So playing like, <clears throat> excuse me, playing, playing like songs that weren't out and, and to people that don't know our band, you know. They they don't know, you know. They were just going crazy for the new ones more than the other ones because they didn't know any of them. But they just thought those were the sickest, I guess. So. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So we were like, oh wait, there's something special going on here. This is sweet. Even over here, I feel like some of the here, new yeah. songs are doing better than the songs we've been mm-hmm. playing for years. Yeah, it's sick. 
that seems to be an ongoing thing with your band, Gideon. Like, it seems like, because bands tend to do the opposite. Like, you know, you go, you're like a heavier band, and you go more to, I want, you know, I'm broke. I'm going to go more metalcore, you know what I'm saying? More but, you know, we're not, we're, we're, we're not, we're not going to name names, you know. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, but you're, in your situation, you guys went the opposite. You guys were, like, went from, like, the more metalcore, and then you went heavier. Yeah. You know, and, and the reaction was great. Go big or go home, baby, you know. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, I, I guess after the record Callus, he went in the cold, that was a big change. And it's weird how, like, it was very well, like, even were, your songs were even streamed more. Yeah, yeah. You know, how, like, that's lucky. So, that's <laughs> lucky. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of luck, I think. Yeah. It's, we're, I feel like we're super fortunate. Every time we put out something that does better than the thing before, it's like, all right, we're doing something, right? So, yeah. I don't know. I think we've, we've cast a wide net over our, over our entire discography trying to figure out who you know what we should sound like what we want to sound like like mm -hmm. what people want to hear from us and so yeah it's like every record it's like we hone in on it just a little bit more mm -hmm. and we and hopefully people are receptive to it but yeah it's weird we've been a band for a while and mm -hmm. gone through a lot of a lot of different changes you guys been a band already for 14 years i mean jake you've been a band since 08 yeah, it's been a long time. I think we wrote one of those first songs when I was, uh, shit, I think I was either 10th or 11th grade. Um, 10th or 11th grade, you serious? Yeah. Wow. And it made it it made its way onto our first record. I think that was one of the, I don't know, looking back, I think it's crazy because that was written in, in a classroom like because I couldn't pay attention to what the teacher was saying and mm -hmm. to, to think that it made it onto a record that people still listen to is pretty crazy it's crazy huh yeah, yeah. and a record that some small part of our of our fan base still considers the best record we ever put out and it's like you which know. just pisses us off <laughs> <laughs> it never ends like go, go back to the first record yeah. 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 go back go back to do the demo kill kill yourself you know it, yeah, yeah. you know it's, yeah. it, 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 it never ends you guys suck luckily they're out you guys are sick yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this record was was heavier though just because of the times it was written in it was a heavy time you know mm -hmm. like yeah. everything just kind of shut down and that's how we were feeling just uh, dark and heavy mm -hmm. so I think that's kind of what happened with, with this new one yeah yeah plus I think like when we put out our song No Love uh I don't even, you know, we were going through, it's like, you know, our music, we try to just reflect how we are at that moment. Right. You know, that we're not sure. trying to fit into a, a certain, we're not trying to act like if we're bummed out or we're going through a hard time, we're not going to just try to act like we're not and write something that's inauthentic, you know, not mm -hmm. a, authentic. So mm -hmm. we put that song out and it was like the most, I don't know, like the vibe of it was just darker and, and more like... I don't want to say hateful, but it's like the only way I can think to describe it. I mean, spiteful, I guess. You know, like the vibe of the lyrics, the vibe and the music was just heavy. It because it just like made sense to write because that's what it felt. The music felt like. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming because he wrote it. Yeah, first uh, I, I would say like a attitude song. I think we ever wrote yeah. like kind of uh, like a sassy little. It had a little bite on it. Sassy yeah. Yeah. It, had, it had some southern sass. Some, <laughs> yeah. some spicy yeah, flavors Alabama, in Alabama, fucking <laughs> Nashville, yeah. Tennessee, fucking yeah. heavy. Yeah, so yeah. then once that, and that song is still, I think, one of our, I mean, it's like our most popular song, still close to it. How how, how bizarre is that? Like, you uh, you put out this, like, heavier song, and then, like, it's number one on Spotify. Yeah. yeah. That, that, so, I almost and it was like, a how? two-song EP, too, so it's just, like, this one random song is <laughs> and so, way bigger than the other song on the EP. How do, uh, would, would you consider that an EP or a single? You know, it was two songs. It was two songs. Two two songs. Song, but yeah. two but back in the day, EPs were, you know, you at least had five, five songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, the only so reason whatever you want to call it. I, I guess so, right? <laughs> it's a couple songs. Yeah, the only reason couple, we yeah. even did that was we, uh, there was some, we went to the studio for the album before we had paid for some extra time and something we were going to we didn't need it right we were going to add like two more songs to that record before yeah. and uh because we had lost like what was it? we had lost some vocals or something oh dude so we finished the whole record and then uh <laughs> we get a call what was it like three or four weeks after or something yeah. like that your vocals have been and deleted. then the, the computer <laughs> crashed or something crazy like that and they lost half the record of vocals so i had to fly straight back up yeah. there and record. Are you kidding? The yeah. whole the fucking nightmare. thing. Yeah. The that's, nightmare. <laughs> that, that, that's a joke and a nightmare. Yeah. What, what, yes. what, what about the computer crash? You know, yeah. what, 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 kind of weird, right? Yeah. Nah, it really that, happened. That happened to you guys. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. 
But somehow through it all, we ended up like we were gonna come finish a couple extra songs for uh, for Cold. Is that what it was? The record right before it? Yeah. Yes. So we were gonna finish some rec- some new songs for Cold, and we ended up just saying like, you know what? I think it's good as it is. But we said I had already paid for some extra time with Putney, and so like, uh, however long after that, nine months or a year after, whatever it was, we were just like, he was like, you've already paid for this, so why don't you just come up and track like two songs? And we were mm. like, all right. So that's kind of how that happened. And the label was just like, yeah, sure, we'll do it. And that was that was shortly, that was right around the time Caleb yeah, came it was like on a board. Year, yeah, a year after I joined. And first, this first this two man, songs musically I was able to put into the band. Really? So, yeah. This man came in with some heat, and I, we, we said, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go. It's like, this is serious. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Had to bring it. Bring the heavy in, you know. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like you like you like brought like your like, like your vibe, but you you like you really truly joined the band. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. No, I felt like I, like with my old band, those who fear. I was just trying to bring. I don't know. I want to continue those vibes and everything that I do, and so I just bringing the heavy feel to us more. You know, bringing the beating it down a little. And we had mm-hmm. been, I mean, way back in the day, we had known Caleb for like. You know, since years we were years. young. So I was like 16, something yeah. like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys know for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Used to go to Gideon shows back in the day. You know, Dang. I, Their first CD release, Out I was like pit. up front knowing every word of the song. Like, yeah, so he so. kind of knew what to what to bring to the table if he were to bring something to the table. And yeah. then he, he fucking brought it. I fucking it brought it, man. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine, like, some, you know, like... You guys need a guitar player, and it's like some dude that's listened to like just been knew you from the beginning, and like even. gets your music, and it's like super talented. And then you yeah. and you're like, and you just bring him on, and he just like, it's like that outside perspective. You know how it is to be in a band where it's so like, cool. it's yeah. different when you're in the band. To, it's hard to know what people, what other people want to hear from what you, they expect you know, from what your they band. expect. Yeah. You yeah. think you think you know, but you just you know you're you're kind of biased. Tough. Yeah, just try to make what you know, like I wanted out of Gideon at that time. Just music. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, well, that's the next step. How I felt, you know, it would be musically, you know. Yeah, yeah. And what I respect about your band, and uh, t- to be honest, I was kind of like hesitant to ask you guys to come on, like you know how where like where, where they add. Then I did some more research on you guys, and you guys are really, you're. It seems you've been a very authentic and true to yourself band, and with. Regardless of any backlash that, 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 that might come, you know, I was like, these mm-hmm. guys, these guys are the real deal. Definitely. Thank you, sir. You know? Thank, you. Thank you for saying and, that. Uh, and then, you know, Caleb c- comes up and uh, let's let's solidify the band sound. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. You guys really took a, like 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 a twist when those two songs came out, uh, EP or singles, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, or, or let's call it a record. Fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two record. songs is fucking is a, is a new it's like record. A record. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> not it. Yeah. Yeah. It was pressed. We did press yeah. a whole yeah. big ass LP for two songs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And uh, that did that inspire uh, the next record, Out of Control? Is that is that kind of that, mm-hmm. that kind of lead? I remember feeling like that was kind of like. A, we're like, okay, everybody's expecting us to put out something that's exactly like these two songs, mm. and we kind of we kind of so rejected that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, nah, yeah. Doing, we've kind of done that a lot, where it's like everyone's expecting this of us. Let's, uh, but it's like when somebody tells you no or uh, tells you what to do, and you want to do the complete opposite. We're, totally. we're yeah. kind of hard headed in yeah. that in that. Yeah, aspect. I, I think a little it's, bit of a, an authority problem for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's also really hard, like when you know you did something like. You that worked, and you don't want to like ruin it by trying to copy it and and doing it worse or you know sure. something like that. And I I think like if we could have made a whole record that sounded like that, probably would. But it was just like we're like how do we uh, how do we make this happen again? I don't know. I think it, on the new one it sounds a lot more. Yeah, like, those two songs would fit on this record. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah definitely. It, it it's a lot more like that. Like overall. Dan doesn't think so. <laughs> Caleb yeah. brings it up once here for sure. I love it. What is what, what does Dan think? Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's let's go. Think? Let's fucking beef it up. Come on. <laughs> right here. Let's I like that it it's its own thing. I don't know. It came out and it was just uh, at that time. It just made sense, and I liked having something just separate. But I get that it would fit yeah, on the record I mean, too. Style makes sense. Yeah, 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 that's it. Either. I'm into that deluxe edition. That the, deluxe. That extra two tracks. Right. Oh man. <laughs> Give me that digi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ask? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are are based out of Alabama. Uh, I'd yes. say we're probably based out of Nashville now. Now, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Uh, so Tyler and Dan, you guys, you guys are both in, the, yeah, yeah. in, in yeah. Nashville. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you guys from there? No, I, I am. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sick. I was born there. 
I born was there. born about like eight minutes from where I live right now. Yeah. Oh like, shit! It's right awesome. In, right in town. Yeah. So I'm like one of the uh, one of the the few and the proud, basically. All ten no people. One, <laughs> all ten people that were actually born there that live there now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> how do you guys? How do you guys feel feel about that? Because I mean, obviously we're like I'm, I'm an outsider, but I keep hearing about you know, obviously there's the Austin, Texas, and people mm-hmm. I keep hearing about Nashville, yeah. uh, Tennessee. Like, is it? I mean, what do you feel about that? Yeah, Tyler. Yeah, no, it's it's cool <laughs> to me because I think I'm I'm just I'm like just the right age for it to be cool mm. because you know uh, you know I'm 31. So ten years ago, I was I turned twenty one and shit started ramping up really hard. It was already ramping up, mm. and it was just like as a twenty one year old in your town, like there's just more shit to do. Uh, it's weird, you know, because I've been touring for a while. It's like every day someone's like, "Hey, I'm moving to Nashville." And I'm like, "Oh, cool." It's the new. I probably <laughs> I you know one of like five thousand people yeah. I know that have moved here, and I don't even. I think I heard that I'll never see like you. Three hundred people move there a day or some shit like that. I think it's like mm-hmm. it's over a hundred. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. since I was a kid, the population is like double. I've only more. been there seven years, and it's way different. Yeah. Than uh, when I moved. They there. keep wanting us to move up there, and I'm yeah. just <laughs> not doing do it. Do it. Come I on. Not I not love it. it. Come I love on. it. Eventually, I won't be able to afford like to live where I live, where I'm from, which is that's that's the worst part. That's how it goes. It was kind of strange. For people will start moving through your area because mm-hmm. obviously I live in SoCal, so mm-hmm. I mean it's just same shit. constant. And then like, <clears throat> and your rent is going up and up. You're yeah. like, oh shit, they like, I'm getting yeah. pushed out, dude. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know? At least like for me, I've lived in every kind of uh, outside area right around Nashville growing up. Mm-hmm. If I have to kind of move out of the city a little bit, it's like I already kind of know where to and where not to go, you know. But I just want to, I want to stay in the city, but. Tyler, you're booming when you hit the table. It's like, boom, boom, boom. what's it? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> we got we, we got the most boomy kick drum that's going. Dude. Yes. What's yeah. up? Uh, what's it going to take for, for? I mean, I assume like you want to stay there because you're yeah. you're born there. It's yeah. like that yeah, this deep connection with, with that that city. Do you actually want to stay there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. I do. Some people, I don't know. It's always going to be home for sure. I'm, and it's it's a good place to live for now. If something. You know, it'd probably have to be something pretty drastic for me to want to not live there. I mean, I could see, like, living somewhere for a year or two, but it's always going to be home, I think. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Total opposite for me. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are we feeling, Dan? I came from a little town, Mississippi, Pearl, Mississippi, and, dude, grown, like, no shows whatsoever. Ever, like, any, no kind of music. We were only just playing for ourselves pretty much at the time. So going from there to Nashville was like a huge change for me. Being able to see bands that I like and being around actual music industry stuff was just it was just cool. And loving country and shit too, so it's just always around there. It's cool. Yeah. I'll I'll be in Nashville for as long as I can be there, hundred percent. Wow. Yeah, I love it. I'll, I'll just place. visit every now and then. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll stay in Georgia, you know. Yeah. What's yeah, the name just stay on your little farm? What, what's the name of your, name of your town? Pearl, Mississippi. Pearl, Mississippi. Yeah, that's, it's close to Jackson. Oh, yeah, check it out. That's uh, I want to see. I want to see this shit. <laughs> Mississippi. We got we got a Walmart. No, we don't. Yeah. No, wait. Do we have a Walmart now? You got a Coach Store, dude. Hey, a okay. Coach. okay. You're, you're balling. What dude. No, what the okay, <laughs> that was built like three years ago, right? That, that was built that was like three years before. ago. Michael That's Kors. where you got that hat. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. That place is a ghost town now, though. Is it? That like they came up for two years and then everybody stopped going there. Just a little wow. out mall. Yeah. Why is that? You think? Uh, what's, probably because Pearl sucks. Probably because it's Pearl, Mississippi. Mississippi. <laughs> we do have a Bass Pro Shop, though. That's sick. You, you gotta have a Bass Pro oh, Shop. Oh yeah. That's nice. What's the population? Of that? Uh, it's probably up there. It can't be too small. Yeah. What's the What's the population? Why are we looking up Pearl right now? Stop. Stop. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Tuscaloosa in a way. Yeah. 27,000. Wow. Are you serious? Bro, I think, I think there's it? like 3,000 people where I live right now. Really? Yeah. Well, wow. It's yeah. very small. Pearl, from- Mississippi, 27,000 currently as of 2022. Yeah. 7,000 people have moved there since 1990. Hey, Pearl's, Pearl's booming, baby. It's on the way up. It's I'm on coming the back. way up. I'm going back. Meanwhile, 100 people a day to Nashville. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, I moved back to my hometown Green Pond a few years ago. Yeah, that the one, town I tried really less. hard to get out of, Woodstock, Alabama. And uh, it's weird because I moved back and then COVID happened. So it was like just embrace all the different things that uh, my hometown has to offer or lack thereof, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's the oh, maze. Yeah. The maze. <laughs> oh, yeah. The maze. Yeah, so, oh, dude, shit town. What's yeah, that guy's so, name again? I forget. John B. Yeah, uh, so Macklemore. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, 
Yeah, the, his town rose to fame a couple years ago. <laughs> okay. Because of this podcast, it was like the number one podcast in the cereal right? in the country. Yeah, it was cereal. a cereal. They were it's out on tour. S Town. And, and yeah, that has to do with that. That's right around the corner. I thought from about that. That's so like, long. What's that's that about means? two two minutes from where I live. Um, so this dude, I don't know. You have to listen to the podcast. We were out on tour story. actually, and yeah. somebody was like, "Hey, somebody put out a." podcast about this little town that you're from and dude, I thought I was dreaming because I was like there's no chance it's, it's very small what's the population there definitely not 27,000 no <laughs> no no it's not <laughs> they definitely, okay I wouldn't guess they don't have a coach for <clears throat> right literally uh, they don't have a coach but this dude <laughs> this dude basically called <laughs> Whoa, cereal cool, 1500 yeah, yeah. 1500 as of 2021 That's yeah crazy. I have a two bedroom apartment for $575 a month <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it's hard to move but yeah. <laughs> so this guy basically called in and was like I want to report a, a murder that's been overlooked mm -hmm. uh, basically talking about how everything's like kind of corrupt there and like covered up mm -hmm. and the guy ends up finding this guy pretty interesting and just goes down there and starts interviewing this guy and I don't know it's I remember something about a treasure right like a buried treasure or something? Yeah. He's There's got a bunch he that. had a bunch of stuff buried. Yeah, um yeah. this dude made this maze in his at his house. He made the maze. Yeah. yeah. He was like kind of a genius. It makes it's clocks. just like this different Yeah, clocks. and he like fixes grandfather clocks and weird shit. But just like this super smart dude just kind of like feeling out of place in the middle of a tiny yeah. Which I could tiny town. Not the smart part, but I could relate to the. Uh, <laughs> I could relate to you know not really <laughs> yeah. feeling like I I fit in a lot growing up, uh, especially when I got into heavier music and started going to shows and stuff. I was seeing like everyone around me, everyone I worked with, kind of had like uh, this different worldview, and I just like I I would dream about more. Like I I would want to get out and like go see what's what's outside of of Alabama and so we started we started uh traveling to like Georgia, Florida, Tennessee while we were in high school just to play like these <clears throat> these shows. Uh our guitar player at the time, uh Daniel McCartney, he would base it was back in the MySpace days, he would just hit up promoters and be like, Hey, I see where you have a show uh this coming Saturday. Um could we open it? And sometimes we would get paid, sometimes we wouldn't, but it helped us make our way out of Alabama and eventually uh, up the East Coast, um, and then we came out here for the first time in t what year was that when we came out here? Advocate in 10, so 2010 maybe. Yeah, so it was a year we graduated, and when we came out to California for the first time, it was actually with Dan's old band and with Tyler's old band, and we we're in three different bands, but we all came out here together. <laughs> and together, yeah. And now we're yeah. We went to Hollywood. We met Rob Deerdick. Yeah, are you serious? <laughs> we yeah, went to we the fantasy factory and banged on the door till he came outside. Yeah, he you actually came no. outside. Yeah, yeah. We, so were, we were so <laughs> nervous. None of us said a word to it. We just stood there and looked at it. You went there knocking the door. Yeah. <laughs> no, we like ring the bell. Actually, it was like a intercom, and we were like, we were trying to act like we were. Yeah. What was it? It was like sta or something. Staples right? was yeah, like staples. delivering some paper, and we're like, we're. We're with Stables. Mr. Letterson, please come out. They yeah, should have kept us in the southeast. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> they should have never let Our us out. Our first time here. going to California, first thing we were just like, we got to meet a famous person. Like, let's go. You drove to the Fantasy Factory, yeah. which is right next to a garbage facility. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We looked, we looked up the address. Like, there's some shit on the internet. We were like, yeah, we found it. And yeah, he came. He came out and said, "What's up to us?" He talked to us for a minute, and we were just like blown away. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. What a cool guy, yeah. man. He told us to come back and see him when we're millionaires, or he said, be, "Make a million dollars and come yeah, back yeah. and see me." <laughs> something like that. We got. We got a while. So we're yeah, we're working on <laughs> we're on the way. We'll be, we'll be back. Didn't he say something about somebody's piercings? We so, yeah, we'd yeah. all gotten our. He's nose. like, so you guys like piercings? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we we, piercings we played. Huh? You know what Art Ambush is? Oh no. man, I it was about in that. Uh, what is it? Waco, Texas, Texas, somewhere. It's like Waco, Texas, yeah. or something. It was this. Venue, we were all pumped to play. Like, it was attached to a tattoo shop, and we were like, they were like, yeah, free tattoos for like for all the bands that play and piercings. piercings. And we're, you know, like that. <laughs> those are the yeah, <laughs> dangerous. I got I got a tattoo from that day. Still. Of course you did. Yeah, uh, and I got my. I think I already had my nose pierced, but no, I got both my nostrils and my septum done the Jeez, same day. Man. The same Jesus day. Art ambush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That <laughs> was a tattoo of it. A microphone with the AR fifteen next to it. <laughs> that, that's, that's Texas, that place baby. was awesome. It was like where uh, was this? Waco. Uh, I think Waco. Yeah, Waco, so, Texas. 
What was the band? Yeah, wait. Waco, yeah, Texas. Waco, you're right. There it is. Yeah, see, tattoo studio, body piercings. Yeah, they, they fuck with that. Yeah, so we, every one of us had a nose ring. Like, every, <laughs> oh like, he was like, so you guys that. like nose rings, huh? We're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Just yeah, got we did. last night. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't even explain. We were all speechless, but yeah. he was like, well, cool. Nice to meet you guys. See you later. <laughs> we made it so awkward. Yeah. We didn't, we, he walked away and we're like, we didn't even ask, like, can we, can we come in or like, yep. we should have, I, I feel like he was waiting for us to be like, can we, we check it out? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, those well, days were more... weird too, because we were like these like southern kids trying to make it out, and everybody at the time was either like heavy bands were either northeast or like west coast, and so we were mm-hmm. like, dude, nobody gets like who we are, and I think it made us feel kind of, or at least me, I remember feeling like a fish out of water for a long time, oh, definitely being like I, feeling like yeah, you couldn't really embrace like, uh, or find out who you are. Like, it took, like, a minute um, until it was, like, I don't know. I remember our manager outside of Dallas one night was just, like, you guys have an image. You guys look different, like, everywhere you go. It's just you have to, like, you have to embrace who you are more. You have to just Mm -hmm. be these guys, like, that you are already. And, uh, but, dude, it was was weird coming out here for the first time. And even, like, up in Canada and stuff, I remember just feeling... uh, I don't know, strange a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I had a place like, is everyone staring at me? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Everyone, everyone's staring at, at our singer's hat. <clears throat> what, what, yeah. what, what are they doing? Yeah. What, yes. what are they doing? Now, I remember Tom from Straight From The Path, the first time we toured with them, he came up to the window. First first day we, we ever met those guys, he came up, he said, hey, y'all, are y'all uh, ready for the show? <laughs> and I was just like, "Damn!" So this is really how they. This, this is, how is really how they think we are. Yeah. <laughs> so it was. Dang. It was. Uh, it's been fun. <laughs> there he is. Tom, <laughs> shout, out, Tom. <laughs> shout out, Tom. You know what? I'll be uh, very uh, honest with with you guys. I I wanted to open up this pod with saying howdy. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you know, so you, 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 have, you have thoughts in your brain. I'm like, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, and they, t- they told me to do it, too. <laughs> no, we my trusted we team told for me to do that. I was, yeah. like, I was like, howdy. What an idiot. <laughs> I had that internal dialogue all day long. Anything I plan on saying, I'm like, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, welcome to the podcast. Probably a lot of things you say, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. So, so you guys kind of felt like, you know... Out of place being like like a heavier band, being from like you know Tennessee, uh, Alabama, and like he's, but you guys still yeah. you guys still found found your place. It's cool. It took us a while, but we I think we did. Yeah, it does. You know? I think it just takes a uh, not giving a fuck. Hundred yeah. percent. Oh yeah, you know? that's very yeah, very not, necessary. Not caring about what people are saying yeah. or thinking about you. It's like really just deep down being like, this is me. I just have to do that. I gotta be me. You know. And if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Uh-huh. At the end of the day. Uh-huh. Wow. True. <laughs> What? No. <laughs> that's a clip. Thank, nah, thank you, Jake. Thank you. I mean, no, 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 it's true. I mean, I told us, you know, to like, you know, you get asked questions about, you know, how do you, how do I how do I tour? How do I do, be a band? I'm like, well, just if people got gotta love you and that because and hate you because they, they don't. No one hates you. No one. No one's gonna love you. And no one yeah. loves you. They're not. They're not. Really, you got to think what people do. <clears throat> like we like when we go to shows, we buy tickets with our hard-earned fucking money mm-hmm. and actually yeah. leave our house and drive out to in out in, in the world to have someone get in their car and leave to, to go see your band they got they got to love you man yeah yeah mm-hmm. and, 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 who's, have some and who's gonna fight for you if if nobody hates you you know what i'm saying if that mm-hmm. makes any sense yeah maybe it doesn't but <laughs> i feel sure. like uh it, it the people that do that are in your corner, I feel like they start riding for you harder when they yeah. see they see hate and shit like that, you know? Yeah. And that, that comes from, because people could smell it when you're not, like, being real. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, you guys have a very, you know, uh, de- dedicated fan base, you know? So, mm-hmm. I mean, I was curious, like, was there, like, a conversation that, that happened after you put out those uh, those two songs and going into Out of out of Control? Was there, like, a conversation you guys had, you know, going from the transition from, like, okay, from, like, going from a Christian band and now we're, like, we're... We're trying to find out who who we are. Was that like like uh, an internal like? Yeah, we all did it together. I feel like, which is is the crazy part. Like, uh, 
I don't know. We've done a lot of growing together through the years. I've spent more time with, with them than my actual family at this point in my life. And mm-hmm. so Same. whenever that came to, uh, I don't know, whenever that was slid across the table, like, hey, are you ready to, like, you know, just uh, say how you feel? I, I Do you? I don't know. It was kind of that thing where it was like, do you feel this way? I feel this way. And it, we kind of just, like, all had that conversation. And honestly, I think the the main point of it all was to to not be in a box you know what i mean to be able to freely create art and uh say what you feel in that moment without having to go back over what you've written and be like oh i need to change this for for these people and i need to Mm -hmm. to feel a certain way for these people it was like you said it's the authentic the authentic part of it you know Mm -hmm. it's just being like who you are writing uh your i mean Everybody should be able to write about their own story freely, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think that that's kind of how it felt. And uh, I don't know, it was one of those things where I, I think we upset a lot of people, but at the same time, it's like we were upset, you know? And, and hearing, like, uh, I guess seeing, like, uh, a lot of the backlash made us kind of feel like, uh, all right, like, uh, if this is how it's going to be, you know, like... Uh, it kind of strengthened our our resolve in that too Mm -hmm. like i haven't come from that world like when for me personally when we were still when we still believed all of that like when bands that i liked kind of made the shift like i felt a certain way Mm -hmm. you know like i like under oath um first talking about about like separating themselves a little from the christian scene i i was like kind of hurt about it you know at the time Mm -hmm. i was just like damn like i like really looked up to you guys and like thought this was you know Mm -hmm. so before we even did it because you know then life comes full circle and you're like damn now i'm about to have to do that to all these people but the thing is we're trying to be as like uh transparent as possible you know if we had put out another record without talking about it we i feel like we wouldn't have been able to like live with ourselves because like we just had to get it like we had to be honest about what where we were and like it was just uh we we're just like damn so we're really gonna do this all right <laughs> all it's right. about time Here you know we like we we have to do it. it's gonna be hard but we have to do it and and we just went for it you know yeah. but we already knew how people were about to react because we we lived that like we understand the feeling but and trying we, to figure out how to navigate it properly was difficult I feel yeah. like through uh, it was it was a painful process, but I feel like also the amount of people that gained a voice through us being able to do that, uh, the amount of people that come up around like uh, I grew up the same way, um, and I got you know looked at the same way when I started questioning things in my life, and I don't it's it's crazy because you have like certain fans or friends whatever you want to call them that kind of came up with us. Um, and have gone through a lot of the same chapters we have uh, as members, but uh, like in their life, you know, like we, uh, so a lot of people have, I don't know, been on this crazy ride with us and are in the same exact, I don't know, spot in life that we all are. And it's the way, uh, I don't know, getting to relate to those people feels so uh, rewarding, almost like, um, I don't know. It's we're all going through it together in a way where it's, I don't know, trying to break out of this uh, this fence and just like be yourself, just blossom as as your as your own, you know, human is a uh, is something that I feel like we really stand up for and uh, that have we've tried to help people through that as well. So, yeah, not not many people or bands had the balls to uh, to do that. You know, I, and I really admire. That's one, the one thing I really admire about your band the most. You know, because a, a lot of people have things to say, but they don't say it at at the moment when it really comes down to it. You guys, you guys did it. You know, it Here's, was hard, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it, even if you think about it in the opposite context, how how intense would it be for any band to completely make a flip on what they've been standing right. for for mm-hmm. for the whole their whole career? And yeah. at that point. That album came out, and we would we were already banned for ten years, you know. 
Yeah. It's a long time to establish a And you've seen the whole country, you met yeah. all all these people and yeah. then you're and then you're your beliefs change and, mm, and, right. and, and and you're driving in the middle of nowhere in, in a desert at 3 a.m. You start thinking yes. about your life. And yep. so, you know, it's, it's you just, a lot of time to think and yeah. a lot of experience to base your, your new opinions on, you know? Mm. And like, and we, we were lucky to like get out of the country pretty early in our, in our mm -hmm. career as a band too. And like mm -hmm. that changes a lot because we, especially being from the South, you're really in a bubble of like everyone around me, is used to this and gets this and goes to church at, you know three times a week and mm -hmm. just like me and that's that's all I know and then you go to like Japan and you're like they don't even like <laughs> like there's there's temples everywhere that for a different completely different religion and yeah. everyone here is the nicest person I've ever met and yet somehow they're all Got they're all hell. doomed yeah. yeah you know and then you you just start thinking you're like damn that doesn't make sense but also this other shit doesn't make sense to me and so it's like they were great thing. There are always, there will always be positive and good things about, about religion. But there's, there's other shit that just it's not for, not for me, you know. No. no. After all that, it's like holy shit. I'm realizing how much, uh, how much it's been, some you know, affected me in my adult life trying to figure my own shit out. I got all these hang ups because of the way I was grow, like, yeah, way I man. was. I we grew up, you know, almost like forced to live, you know, for so long in our lives. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that there's there's definitely positive things that I still carry from it, like uh, just like loving uh, loving people, um, like loving your neighbor as yourself, and things like that. Um, but then, yeah, there's just things that I don't know. We we just started questioning a lot, and I think it it helps too whenever you start. Uh, you start making friends that have different world views that you have. Yeah, uh, yeah true. Mm -hmm. Andy from uh, from Thy <clears throat> Art is Murder it was like one of the the first friends I had that would actually sit down and we would have these long, like, just deep dive conversations about this kind of thing. And mm -hmm. and I think that that's one thing people lack a lot uh, in the South is like hearing somebody else's worldview out yeah. and like how they, yeah. yeah, their perspective of like, you know, mm -hmm. well, well, what that fun conversation of, well, what do you think happens when you die? And how do you think we got here and, yeah. and things like that? And I don't know, it's like the more, uh, the more I sat and would listen to other people's views and, and things like that, it, it left me feeling very, uh, very hurt like a uh, okay well why doesn't this person deserve uh why why do they deserve hell like uh at the end of all this and uh yeah i think that's where the wheels started turning for me is it, it was genuinely out of love like and and mm -hmm. questioning things you know mm -hmm. um i don't know it's been it's been a crazy ride but like i said there's and even the people that i almost envy people that Mm. that never question anything and they're just content and they can go through their life. Weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's weird. I completely, uh, I just, I don't have that kind of brain. I can't, I can't just turn it off. Like I always have like uh, the wheels turning like, well, how does this work? And why is this this way? And I don't know. I, maybe yeah. that's, maybe that's dangerous. You know, <laughs> it's not, it's like, one, it's like once you feel something, you can't unfeel it. Once you think something, you can't unthink it. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. once you open up that, <clears throat> that door, can't close it. You can't. Yep. You know. Absolutely not. You know, and there's, uh, you know, I mean, it's, uh, Jake, uh, that's a very special trait, and you, you, you're a very special group of guys and band. You know, you, you you crack the door open, then you, all right, then you just open it up, and then you, okay, <laughs> then let's you kick it open. Kick it yeah, open. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just, uh, kick it open, run down the hallway, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes you, yeah, it's, it's really, I think it's very healthy to hear uh, other people's, uh, perspectives and if you got to be truly ob objective to hear other people's perspectives and you need to make space in your own mind mm -hmm. right? just sit there it's, fu it's funny you said it because i put it the same way like you know we're about to have a conversation about you know dying it's, mm -hmm. it's weird it's weird I, I i get it and you got to be like to have like a cool sit back you know not only <laughs> people can can do that you know i love to get weird same. with conversations <laughs> yes he does yeah. yes he does <laughs> <laughs> it's what you know what what happens i always kind of felt like uh, what? Not bad. I don't. I don't know the word right now. But you know, uh, living in Corona, uh, they have like there's different kinds of religions that 
uh, approach your doorstep. You have like yeah. either like the Mormons or the Christians, and like oh, it's funny. Kind of the typically they are younger, mm-hmm. and uh, I understand that they approach people's doors and they most of the time they get the door slammed on in their faces so I make it a point like okay I'll talk to you for like you know a few minutes I'll be outside I'll, I'll, I'll drink, drink coffee and shit you know mm-hmm. I'm, I'm blasting skinless in the back you know I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's weird already <laughs> <laughs> and I just, you know, just entertain you know it's just yeah. listen I'm the same yeah. way listen am I cool alright thank you ha- have a good time out there you know there's yeah. a there was some uh, there was a lady that came and knocked on our door one day when I was uh, I was pretty young and it was a Jehovah's Witness mm, yeah. and my dad just like he would always just like you know don't answer it don't answer <laughs> it but dude I remember this one day I went out on the front porch and just had like a, a hour long conversation with this lady just to like know what she I just wanted I was interested you know yeah, like yeah. Well, what do you, I, cool. I love to hear different people's like uh, just perspective on things like why mm-hmm. why do you think the way you do what what yeah. make what makes you tick? Totally. And I dude, I'll listen to anybody tell yeah. me, you know, any of that stuff. I think it's cool. Yeah, you learn. There's there, there's like a golden golden nugget in every conversation. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh shit, you know, I, I didn't realize that. You know, no one fucking knows what happens when we're dying. You know, right. I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna sit and pretend like I know. You know I, mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. I I have you know we have our belief system. You know, and we could get comfortable with you know being spiritual and our own God and stuff like that. But man. We're, yeah, you know, no one truly really knows. So. Life, yeah. life is weird, dude. We're all, I'm, I'm 37, so I'm trying to figure my, my shit out. I, yeah. I, I don't know what's going on, dude. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is, 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 is it even real? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. That's why. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's a real? big one. <laughs> you know, it's just, are we in some fucking dude, simulation water, shit right we're now? A simulation, right? Oh my goodness, dude. Walking around in Tokyo will definitely make you feel that 100%. way. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Coming from Green like, Pine, I Alabama. definitely made this up in my head. Yeah. This is not real. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Being like from Alabama or like or like a uh, or Tennessee, like you know, mm-hmm. and then going out to like you know Japan and Tokyo. That's that was the yeah, first place we had ever been out yeah. of the country. Out of the country, straight to Japan. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, that's yeah. a place to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Culture We've been shock. There four times. Culture now? shock. Yeah. Yeah. Four times. It's, a, it's I've been an one extra of our time favorite places. It's the best place in the world. Yeah. We love it's, it. It's such a cool place to be, man. Mm-hmm. Wow, the vibe there. I don't know if you would assume just by looking at us that that's our favorite place <laughs> in the world. But, yeah. yes. but it is. Sure. For, by far. By far. Yeah. They got me to eat something other than McDonald's when I was there. So yeah. Was yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, it definitely opened up my, my mind with uh, possibilities. Oh, of food. Yeah. Like ramen, you know, I, I never <laughs> had ramen. I had never had ramen either. Their dude. McDonald's is really good, though. Fuck there. yeah, it is, dude. So the first time they got me nice to eat ramen, I never had it. And I don't know if this is what got me sick, but I was like... It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't yeah, I don't the think wrong. it was, because they all ate it. They were fine, but <laughs> we were like about to play the show. Five minutes before we go on, I just start puking in this trash can right before we yeah. play. Play the set. Fall asleep on our merch bags for like two hours afterwards. Dude. Just feeling like never trash. ate ramen again. Never ate ramen the oh, rest no. of the time. <laughs> right there. Yeah, yeah. Right. exactly. Right. I mean, I'll have it now, but like at the time, it was just like I'm never trying. That's like that's most people's, people's like Waffle House experience. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Fuck Waffle House. God, yeah, it sucks. We had yeah, a bad hash. Yeah, yo, 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 Waffle House. Uh, <laughs> you had some yeah. bad hash browns, buddy. Don't yeah. say Waffle House sucks. Yeah, exactly. Waffle House is good, man. That's sick. Hey, it's open. It's three a.m. We're like we're we're going. It's a great idea. Yeah, we have, we have, dude, I'll, I'll wake up in the morning. Let's go to Waffle House any time of the day. Breakfast all day. Let's all be day. clear though, it sucks, but it's good. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> it's good. It's well, a, yeah, it's a good suck. It's like <laughs> eating, yeah, it's a good suck. You never leave without a story. Yes. Yeah. yes, there's gonna be a fight. There's gonna I don't know something's gonna yeah. happen. I, I've had some family that's worked there. My aunt and my sister both have worked at. I don't know why, but they both worked at Waffle House at some Hell point yeah. in their life. <laughs> oh my goodness! And they, they tell me that that like the uh, the fryers don't get cleaned but one time a year. Hey, it keeps the like, flavor in, you know. So, yeah, yeah baby. Seasoned, seasoned, that yeah, that seasoned, seasoned, seasoned oil. oil. That's they, the word. Because they're twenty four hours and they only close on like one like they like Christmas or something. Time so they yeah. yeah so they just like pump it all out that one day of the year and then the rest of the year. Did you walk in anywhere and it smells like an ashtray? You know you're about to eat good. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's true, though. Yeah, it's true, huh? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're, I mean, you're broadening my my perspective on life. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Yes. You know? See, always listen, always be objective. And you, you know it's old school. Cool. That's what it is. It's, yeah. So now I'm, I'm craving that cigarette smoke. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, you know what pisses me off most is when I'm around some, because my, 
my I don't know if he smokes still. Uh, Dan, our bass player, smokes. And when when we're inside, like there'll always be one person that starts it, and then it starts to change. So he'll be like, always second. I'm like, you fucking dick. <laughs> I, I, I don't like when people smoke in a, in, a, in a room uh, yeah. when, when I'm in there. However, cool. last night. Uh, hanging out with you know Suppo I know it sounds cool yeah. and uh, Derek their bass player pops open op- 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 a cig starts smoking in a, in a small cont- for some reason it didn't bother me I was like, <laughs> I, I was like inhaling it so, I was like I love you more than my own band member or parent yeah. or something <laughs> <laughs> weird so sick. We, we were just talking about this the other day. It's like I grew up with my my mom like smoking cigarettes in the car and stuff oh like that. Wow. Like yeah, for you guys, it's like oh dude, what? That, that's, those those that. Virginia my, Slims, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at one point, my mom she, like growing up, she, they like smoked in the house. You know, shit like that. Wow. So that secondhand smoke like is. That's is why like, you got that I'm beautiful like, rasp on you. Made you who you are. No, yeah. I hated it. No, I love my it. My mom yeah. be smoking in the car, and I would hold my breath in protest until I passed out, would turn blue. <laughs> So like, I have asthma. I just can't be around it. You know? nah, I'd, <laughs> I'd be sitting back there sucking it all in, nah, blowing, blowing O rings, yeah. listening to Alan Jackson. <laughs> oh my goodness! Do, do you guys, do you guys smoke, smoke cigs? Uh-uh. Nah, no, I, I used to, but scarred probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. scarred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> had to had to stop. It was it was like once I stopped for I don't even remember why I stopped initially, but then once I did, it was like. I don't want to smell like cigarettes anymore. That was like the biggest thing. Smell, smell, dude. Yeah, it's, it's not smell. about your health. It's about how you smell. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like some people can cigarette. do it classy, though, for some reason. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you see one person not, smoking a cigarette, it, look, it looks uh, distinguished. Know. And sometimes the smell yeah. of a nice cologne with cigarette mixed right. together. No, you walk no, in a room and like, oh, man, that smells like, damn, no I want to fuck. Yeah. This guy fucks. Oh, man. He fucks. And he smokes. Yeah. I'm tired of jacking off, dude. Come on. Give me some cigarettes yeah <laughs> ladies <laughs> love the cigarettes <laughs> hey jake <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> jake I, I i heard you talk about uh pretty often outcast mm. how, how is outcast inspired uh gideon south's got something to say mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's where they uh i feel like that's where they really i don't know made us believe that oh shit this is this is possible uh, just because the similarities between, I don't know, the heavy world and the rap world, different eras, but how mm-hmm. they basically you had East Coast, West Coast, you know, beef and yeah. and how they they came up from Georgia and were like, nah, like we're serious down here, and uh, and now Atlanta's like a hub, yeah. you know what I mean? And that video of them winning the award in East and West going at it, and that's like, y'all shut the hell up. Yeah, South's got something to say. He just walks off. He's like, yeah. I know everybody, you know, everybody wants to say what they want to say, but South's got something to say, and he just mic dropped so right sick. there. Yeah. Wow. They were getting booed. Like, they were getting booed. Yeah. They were yeah. getting booed? Yeah, yeah for, so they for want, winning like, an album of the year or whatever, and people they come up to accept it, and people are just booing. It was like, yeah. was it, it was like BET Awards? Yeah. Is that what it was? I think so, yeah. Why, yeah. Why, why were they booing? Because they, yeah, they just thought they because were Because nobody they were from the East or West won. Yeah. Yeah. They thought they were corny and it was like whoever was up for it was I think this is it. I haven't seen this in a while. Sound the folks, you know what I'm saying? Wow! Yeah, yeah. that is like I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, yeah sir. For every time I see that, yeah. Now so we South watched, got some something to say. Wow! We watched that that's and we powerful. all same thing. We all got goosebumps. We're yeah. just like, damn, <laughs> that's real. And who like, has that's... bars like Andre? Let's be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So that means, I mean, if you, I mean, you actually. All the actually being from the south, I mean, seeing that and hearing that, that must be like yeah. that's this is our our shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and there and uh, and look at look at that album art right there, like nobody was dressing like them. Nobody was the was uh, doing the, the things uh, they the were uh, doing. The blue one in yeah. in the middle. Hon- honestly, any any picture of them, like the way Andre well, carried himself and just like had Jay, his own style, style. being himself. Yeah. Yeah, that that's artwork, insane. dude. Woo! Yeah, because they... That's man. sick, dude. I would not fuck with those guys. Nobody, yeah, was, <laughs> nobody was was doing what they were doing, mm-hmm. and I think that that's, that's the main takeaway. Is that, 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 like, southern took- soul thing, you know? Like, they were funky mm-hmm. with the, like, from the beginning. You just see the genuineness in them, and just, like, they just... It's who they are, and they're just being it, you know? Yeah, yeah. They're, just, they're just being them. You're well, right. Well, take, taking different, like, inspirations in music, like, instead of... Uh, 
I don't know. I think this was a big takeaway is like, okay, you're an artist playing heavy music. You can try to, you know, I personally, none of us only listen to heavy music. We're mm -hmm. inspired by so many different types of, of musicians. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, whenever you let that creep into not only your music, but your fashion and like just how you express yourself, I think that that's kind of, I feel like that's exactly what Andre was doing is like all these different flavors. He was like, I, I don't want one flavor. Like I mm -hmm. want all the seasoning, you know? Mm -hmm. I, and I think that's cool, personally. That's awesome. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I was also going to say that I like uh, your, like, how it sounds weird to say it, but as, as a guy talking to other, other men. But uh, it's, <laughs> I, 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 like, I like how you guys dress. That's not weird to say. We, oh, we tell each other we, we like oh, yeah. uh, how they're dressed yeah. all the time. All the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, so like, you, guys, you guys from the South, you guys are dressed like who you are inside. It's dope. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank a lot. You. You know, I'm, I'm I'm just out there, dude. It's, you, I I just know when like someone's not being them, mm -hmm. you know. So I, you guys, you know, getting into fucking breath of fresh fresh air, you know. Oh, thank yeah, you, man. Thank, thank you so you know, much. Anyone man. that's gonna gonna speak speak their mind and be transparent and, 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 and vulnerable and not care that that's like that's literally my favorite shit. No, yeah, and it you takes know? a long time to get there, so it's just like I don't it know, does. It feels good to be able to like For just sure. let it let loose and not really. I don't know. Obviously, I feel like we all probably still care about. You hear someone say something, you, it might hit you deep, but you're like, you just gotta maintain let and it stay roll yourself. Off. Yeah, let it roll off. Just be yourself. Oh, do people say like the nastiest shit to you? Like, oh, I can, yeah. I, things like they'll. Where like, do they they'll... get off? Where do you? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you find the nerve? Where do you? <laughs> yeah, the nerve. The nerve. Oh, my God. It's crazy though, because when when you're at least for me, I remember hearing all the time when I was younger, like, oh, just be yourself. Just especially with the last name Smelly, I'm like, but you like it was me. like, a, oh my goodness, it was like, you, just be, you know, be proud of who you are, be who you are, be, you know, be yourself, and um, I think that uh, it's so hard, especially when you get into high school, mm -hmm. you start feeling like the peer pressure. I gotta dress how these people dress. I gotta mm -hmm. act like these people act. I mean, it's just, it, it kind of unless you, unless you get rid of that early, it kind of carries on, and I, I wish mm -hmm. that. I don't know if there's any like young artists listening. Like I feel like that is a cheat code you need to crack early on. Yes, is 100%. don't don't listen to anybody else's opinion and and be who you are entirely. Totally. Yeah, just, you're right. Or even mm -hmm. even further than that, like be yourself. Even like we were talking the other day, it's like be yourself, but even louder. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. like yeah. like on on if it's at ten, take it to eleven. Yeah, yeah. And that's how people will love you, and that's how people will hate you. Right. Yeah. Yes. You know. Yes. And then that's. Yeah. It's, and then that 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 does affect the music. You know, it, it does. And it's cool. It's cool. So you I, you come out with the record, how to control them, and again, you make this announcement. But I mean, it, ultimately, we we could do our best to put out the best music that that we can. But ultimately, as as we were actually talking uh, earlier, like. Once it's out there, the the people and the fans stay have the ultimate say, you know. So yeah. so we, we do our best to be ourselves, which is why you know you're kind of only this. If people are gonna hate you, at least they hate you for you you being you. And like people, yeah, yeah. dude, the fans loved it. Yeah. It's crazy. Isn't it, that it, weird it, it, though? It stuck. It stuck, man. Isn't it weird to like, as musicians, we just put our lives like out there. And the world tells you like whether it's this good, is or, good bad. or bad. Yeah, uh, it is very your life strange. sucks. You're it's awful. Like, it's very strange. It's like if it's good or bad, it's just my life. You know, it's everything very, you love sucks. I do love this cover. It, it's it's very you guys. Yeah, thank you, man. I love that album. Me too. Same, same. It reminds me of like some. Uh, I don't know. I, I miss cool. the old album arts that were illustrated. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. uh, pull up thirty eight special, dude. Oh god! Oh, this one's great. Which one, dude? Any of them? No, it'll come up. <laughs> uh, Wild Odd right. Southern Boys is a good one. Just babes. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh, yeah, what, yeah. The one in the shorts right there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's see this. Oh, okay. Dude, it's all <laughs> illustrated. It's already covered. Man, I got yeah. that on vinyl just in my room. Hanging dude, on. there's one with a lipstick. Uh, you gotta get what that vinyl to have a bigger cover. Yes. There's one with a like a lipstick. Hit. There it is, right there. Yeah, and the bullet. It's yeah. a bullet. That's tight. Oh, that's oh, so sick. Wow, that's a sick cover. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, Who is this? 38, 38 special. special. 38 special. It's the okay. so the guy that sings for Leonard Skinner now. Yeah, put that in your notes. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is him. So the guy in the middle with the belt buckle, he sings for Skinner now, but the original lead singer is his brother. 
Um, oh, yeah. And my dad, uh, this is the the stuff my dad raised me on. It's good though. You never heard uh, "Hold On Loosely." Don't let it go. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, don't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> don't let it go. Oh, Let's they got go. some. They got some good stuff. Great covers. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, that that kind of inspired <clears throat> uh, Out of Control's album art, where it was like the old illustrated stuff. But then we we meet this guy, and he's doing like the three D rendering stuff, mm-hmm. where he can actually go in and make a full make a scene. And yeah, make a yeah. scene. So we kind of tried to mix those two vibes, where it's like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's like completely 3D rendered, but like, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. It's all 3D. It's Dude, like, you like can color everything. Yeah. You could you could walk around walk around in there if you wanted to. Yeah. Oh shit. So we were able to experiment with like different angles and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But yeah, that and that's the other oh, thing is wow. that that album had a lot of new metal like aspect to it too, mm-hmm. which is very like. Do you bite down. Oh, that's, that's right, the fuck. That is my track. Shit's crazy. Dude, that was gonna be a, that was gonna be an interlude. Like no it, way. With, yeah. with no lyrics. It literally had no lyrics in like a few weeks before we went to the studio. Jake was. I feel like, like it was even less than that. Wasn't it it? might have been. It might yeah. have been days before we went to the studio. Yeah. We were like, this needs lyrics, and I was like, Jake, please, please get on, yeah. do something. Dude, I was and walking around at Town and Country Ford pulling car parts because it was. <laughs> Just like I gotta come up with something for I'm this. Right, song. I, remember, I remember Jay called me. He's like in one of those little units. just rapping it to you. He's, like, like, he's on the phone. He's like, you know, the part at the end. He's like talking about the misery. And as soon as he starts it, I'm like, this is it. I was like, yeah. this is exactly what it needs. <laughs> yeah. It's also crazy because when we recorded that, it what like like I said, it wasn't like the single. You know, when you go into the album, you're like, all right, there's this song, this song, this song. These are full songs, like. I mean, we contenders. Were, we put the it. last song on the album. We were like, yeah, we the final best, song, yeah, yeah. and nice and track. it doesn't have a chorus, and it doesn't repeat. Musically, anything, doesn't really, really repeat. It, really it just like it, yeah. you know, it's just like start to finish, pretty short, no chorus, like whatever. And and after we recorded the record, we were just like, damn, the song is so unique and cool. Like, we should just put it out. And told the label like like we want this to be a single now. And they're like, are you sure? And we're like, well, yes, yeah. Yes. yeah. They're like, it's it. weird though. And it was like. It, no, yeah. let's do it. And now it, it's like the number two song. Like, yeah. There's no love, and then <clears throat> Bite Down is like the, the next most popular. Or, you know, what what made, made you guys trust that song? <sighs> to me, I the think. The groove, I think. The groove, yeah. 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 Just and the, just the heaviness was yeah, the like. the weirdness of it. Did I we mean, play it live before we decided? No, I don't think no? so. No. Yeah. Okay. But, but also, I remember when we put out Cursed, which up until that point, Cursed, before No Love, Cursed was the one, you know? Yeah. And like, when we put out Cursed, I remember thinking when we recorded it, it was the weird one. You know, like, mm. we're like, this is the, the part that it's like a unique sounding, like, you know, we're hitting these harmonics on there. It was like something we hadn't fully done yeah. mm-hmm. before. And, but it was just apparent by the time it was done recorded, like, okay, this one's different and special. So when mm. that, like, hit because it was different, I think, like, then we had a different perspective on what is going to hit now. Also, Brian Garris came in and fucked that track up. That's too. true. Yeah. Yes. They were yeah. at this... Knocked Loose. Knocked Loose was at the studio at the same time we were, and we had just got off tour with them not long before, and the song Cursed was written about... We were in Oakland, Got we got broke into, and then uh, the following week we totaled our van in Canada, uh, played the show that night, though, um, and I think that it was just like that year was so, was so it left us feeling cursed, man. It's like we can't do anything without yeah. mm-hmm. feeling like something bad's following us. Yeah, and they were there through all of that with us on that tour, and then he just they happened to be there at the studio, so Brian hopped on the track, and I. Sick. It ended up pretty sweet. People yeah. So then that one, sick. that one doing well. I think it just like whenever Bite Down came up, we were like, this is definitely unique in our in our. You know, our discography. One we million were just views. Like, it's gonna hit. Yeah. Oh, it hit a million. Oh, it hit a mil. wow. oh, okay. <laughs> million views. Oh wow! I didn't even know. Just noticed. Yeah. Hey, you guys know what you're hearing it here first. <laughs> 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 That's Trump change these days, though. You know Trump what I'm saying? Change. <laughs> That's awesome. That is not an easy task. Congratulations! Wow. Holy moly! Dude, found thanks. out here. Thank you. That's dude. literally I had no idea. That's crazy. Is it right at it too? Yeah, it just says one M. <laughs> <laughs> we we need it. Are we going to change for a now? while? Nah, you forbid. <laughs> we're we're gonna gonna black. Black. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you guys just fucking trust yourselves and trust like the weirdness of like a song. It's like oh, you know, like, I, was, I was having a conversation last night. Like you're better off staying out than like being sick as fuck and no one even caring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. If, if it sticks out, you know, it's kind of more of what of what you want. 
Right. You, you just got to go with that first feeling of like, you know, you first hear something, you're like, oh, man, this feeling. is it. And then yeah. people will be like, oh, it's too heavy or it's too weird. It's like, but I felt that feeling. And yeah. I feel like other people are going to feel yeah. that when they hear it. So, mm. I mean, yeah, you just got to trust yourself, you know. Yeah. Go with that first thought. We'd be yeah. trusting each other, too, which yeah. is yeah. which is a really Good nice. Group of friends, too. Yeah. Yeah. A really nice uh, part of this band is we lean, e- lean on each other a lot. You need it, man. You're you're fucking alone out there, dude. Yeah, you know? <laughs> for real. For real. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's like you you really what we have is each other, like mm-hmm. all the time, and nothing yeah. else stays the same. You know, nah, for real. I feel like so, this whole uh, this whole group is like for me personally. It's like it really has brought me to this point of like trusting. Cry more on the than podcast, I, more than dude. I, ever had. I might, I might, I might shed a tear. Lift those glasses up. Lift those glasses up. Look into the screen and Southern cry. Tears. <laughs> yes, no, no, for real. Southern dude. tears. Next tears record. on my guitar. <laughs> No, nah, this like this group, all of us <laughs> being together, really, it's just like I don't know. There's not a trust I've ever had with a group of friends like this, Come and like, on. especially Same. coming into the band. It's like, <laughs> I mean, they trip without a control with all these songs. Like I wrote a lot of the music on that, and then they just fully accepted it. And we're like, we, bro, you got this. Let's mm-hmm. let's fucking roll with this. So no, nah, means a lot. It's sick. Yeah, good to be surrounded with you know three of the best people in the world. You know, oh, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sudden tears. Make, make y'all cry now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Next thing, a ballad. Cowboy Tears. That's the next album. Southern Tears, yeah. yeah. Southern Tears. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. T-shirt, back. Yep. Yeah. Impact font. And it's it's the glasses down and it's the tear coming out. That's it. Give me 5%. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. (laughs) How, who came up with the, how, what, that, I really love the outro to that, that song. It's so weird. It it, it gets to stop and then it kind of, it's like this kind of reminds me of like a late night. He's kind of like okay, just where, the, the beat kind of fades where's, out. Where's yeah. the jam out, and then the song ends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and and it's a single. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. It. I mean, I think it being the last song of the album too. You talking about bite down? Yeah. Oh yeah, because I guess I th- we thought it was gonna be an interlude first, right? So yeah, it's yeah. Interlude down. and and it being the end, we were like, oh, let's do the typical. You know, you fade out the end of the album. Fade yeah. that. Th- and, fade and, that and thing also, out. it fade if you listen back to back, it fades out. And if it starts the album over, it fades in. So it's just mm. it's a cool like in out kind of deal. Yeah. We also end our set with that song a lot, really? which is like, interesting. I, I never thought that it was weird, and people keep bringing it up to me like on this tour and stuff. Yeah. What are they saying? Saying like, <laughs> what the hell are they saying, Tyler? <laughs> you guys suck. No, no you didn't no, tell no. us what they said. No, I've heard Let's like hear a few people on the tour, and I've sent some comments like, Who? "Give me names." And like that dude, that dude Was that's it like the nature guy, the that takes nature photography. Oh, yeah, he yeah. said it to me too, but talking about ending the set with that being like, he was like, "Yo, you guys don't give a fuck." You just say, and I'm like, I, we're just ending it be- with that because it's popular song yeah. but it just feels like but like work, yeah. ending a, a set with like bass and drums and just like a jam out for like a minute it never felt feels weird to me though. it doesn't no. feel weird no. No. we've been playing it for it, a while we, now we don't sure. fade yeah. it out live you know we, just, nah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we do like a couple days, measures yeah, yeah we don't fade the drums yeah yeah we turn the ball down I turn it down while they play I get back to it yeah no but but yeah I guess it's a little weird but it works ending with just I can't believe they said that. Yeah, dude. dude. Dude, they're saying it. I've heard a lot of people say it. <laughs> dude, every time I watch the video, I'm like, we need a real music video for this song. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's a yeah, dragonfly. See, this is cool. The CGI kind of, it's just yeah, like, that's just, cool. dude, we the, took the little, uh, fuck, the dragonfly from No Love on the cover, tried to implement mm. feelings of that and stuff. Dude, yeah, once we, b- maybe it's just because we used it as an album cover so mm-hmm. i started I, I don't know it's like once you see something you start noticing it more yeah. mm-hmm. but i swear dude dragonflies would not leave me no. alone for a long time seriously me we would really? be on the phone talking and we'd just be outside chilling i'm like yeah. a dragonfly just like that it happened all the time everywhere we'd go it's i'm like, talking there was a they had some kind of nest where i was working <laughs> something <laughs> dude, they were just <laughs> everywhere <It's> had, <laughs> some kind of nest but it was a, it was a reminder nest. every time like Man, I need to get out of here. I need to go write some music. Like every yeah, time I saw true. one, I was like, I would think. <laughs> I would, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Well, they they uh, they, uh, they they say beautiful things and uh, animals and birds that inspire you to write write music. It's yeah. Or or, or or do anything kind of form uh, art form. It's true. Yeah. They're free. Yeah. They do whatever they want. You just yeah. like looking and you're like, wow, because it, it forces you to be present. You're like, oh wow, it's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's fucking oh, art. That's true. Wow. That's true. They free, but they also be working. 
mm-hmm. to survive. They gotta, yeah, know? they gotta go get, they gotta go get that bread. Nobody else is gonna give it to them. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I gotta call Caleb. Bug Ur- right early now. bird gets the worm. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna call him start rapping. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, just imagine me in a, in a, I don't know, just a row of rusty. Uh, car park bins. I'm sitting by the screws, and I'm just I call the Caleb. Screws. I'm just I'm just rapping. To it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, All right. Well, the new record is out. The, by the time this just drops, could yeah. be either oh. this Monday or next, probably or, or around pr- pretty soon. So the record will be out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, if you're still wow. listening, watching, thank you. Check out the new record. It's Please. fucking heavy. It was written in a forest. And, and <laughs> it was written in a forest. It's out. <laughs> fucking yeah. sick. Go fucking to the swamp. Epic. Listen to it. <laughs> you got Again, I, I, got, I got to see you guys. I, I, I really appreciate you guys as a band and you being transparent. In the, the genre, it's not very transparent. It's very, it's very rare. So, yeah. so thank, you. thank you guys for, for being you. No, thank you, know? you for yeah. yeah. Thank you for being you, you and, and, and <laughs> paving the way for musicians like us, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sure. Well, you guys, you guys inspire me. I was, You've I'm, been I'm, at it longer than us. So, oh, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Long By the way, time. shout out Ernie. <laughs> Ernie, yeah, Ernie is <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ernie brought brought a new a new fire to us. So it's That's nice awesome. to have that new energy. Kind of how you know Caleb oh, brought. Yeah. Someone yeah. comes in, you know, like, oh wow, you know he's he's sick. I, mean, I, I, I gotta be sick. Yeah, yeah. You know? I gotta be sick. <laughs> I gotta be sick. Dude. He's sick. I gotta be sick. I don't want. I don't yeah. want him to be sick. Not me be sick. Yeah, people think yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a fraud. You know. I don't, yeah, want, yeah. I don't want that shit. No. Anyways, can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm parking. To see you guys tomorrow at the Echo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sick. Born raised California. Echo's a famous venue in LA. Never been there. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> it's funny. He could be from somewhere. And it's never even. Yeah. Never even been a certain. Yeah. It fucking always blows me. There's so many places. LA, LA especially even, though. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's just huge. There's so many venues. Whiskey. Yeah. yeah. There's lots of shit. Dude, the yeah. venue. The venue we're playing tonight chain reaction dude that was a uh, before we ever made it out of alabama mm. i would uh me and my buddy daniel would sneak into his dad's office when we knew he was at lunch on the dial up. and just look up our favorite bands playing chain dude, reaction that bury your wow. dad set back in the day oh yeah uh, i watched that so many times oh, yeah. yeah chain reaction i remember the white rabbit oh, of course yes sir same thing. That was that one was of those venues. venues. Any yeah. any venue that had like a backdrop that said the name of the <laughs> yeah. venue, yeah. you're like, I can't wait to play that place. I mean, I've probably seen videos of the play. I mean, Palladium was one of them for me yeah, too. Yeah. Kill Switch DVD. And, of course. And, you know, I was like, yeah, I gotta play that stage. You know, mm-hmm. gotta play there. Yeah. Um, chain will always but have chain, that feeling. Yeah. 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 Top top chain's top always that. Set. Yes. Dude, my God. I haven't seen this in so long. Well. Those transitions are, and it looked so much Whoa. bigger than it is. Of course. Yeah, you get in there, you're like, really? <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, it's a 300 cap? That... <laughs> we actually played that show. Really? This show? Yeah. You're kidding. Wow. Really? What? No way. Get out of here. No, you didn't. Mm-hmm. That's what? so sick. I want to say it was two nights. <sighs> two nights. I want to say it was two We love Bury Your Dead. Yeah. Goats, man, they're, they're doing heavy shit, dude. For real. Yeah, She's yeah. Moise, dude. Huge inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Bury Your Dead, shout out. This video is so sick. Is that Mark? I couldn't tell you. I was like, is that Mark? Oh, my goodness, dude. Was Mark in the band at that point? The drummer? Yes. Yeah, that's that's Mark Rippin. He dude. just got, like, he, you know, Jumping changed Jack. through the years. I can't recognize him. Shout out to Mark, man. No, he's the dude. I believe he came from uh, Between the Buried and Me to the Buried oh, Dead. Shit. Pretty that's sure. Wild. I had no idea. Wasn't he in, uh, what's, up, what's that other band? He was, he was in Crossfade. Yeah, Crossfade. Yeah, Crossfade. Crossfade. Back, yeah, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Looking yep. back at me. They're so good. Looking that's, back those are the good. Those are the good. Well, holy moly! I know you guys got a show tonight. Uh, records out now, finally yeah. after how many years? Fucking t- Feels twenty good. years. It's out. Yeah. It's good for it to be <laughs> out, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where can people find you guys? Yeah, get right here, man. Get in the air. We're just hanging out. Right 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 here. Right here. Anna, let them know, Tyler. Let them know. Get in AL. Yeah. On everything, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's is our Twitter Gideon AL. Shit. Just put Gideon in. Gideon we'll A L. So it's uh, like myspace.com slash Gideon A L for Alabama. TikTok is underscore A L. Gideon underscore A L. Oh, that's true. That's cool. true. I just made a TikTok. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Instagram, like, oh, Facebook, right. all that. <laughs> all that. <laughs> all right, everyone, that's it. Appreciate it. Gideon. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us.